hey guys welcome back in the last video we completed the modeling for this sledgehammer and we created the high poly and low poly mesh and today we are going to export those meshes in substance painter and bake then texture this hammer so let's create a new document and import our low poly now let's go to texture set list and rename your meshes this is our handle and this one is hammer so let's go to the texture set settings and bake mesh maps take the resolution to 048 and import your high poly mesh then hit ok to this apply diffusion and increase the max frontal and rear distance to 0 0.3 Change the anti-aliasing to 4x4 and go to this AO section and increase the secondary rays to 256 and hit apply to all. Then click on this bake selected textures. So our mesh maps are baked. Ok and then go to layers. Delete this empty layer. Now in your materials you see this iron row damaged. Drop it in the layers and change its color. Make it a little bit darker like this. Increase the roughness just a little bit to 0.55 or maybe 0.5. Now add a new fill layer and change its color to something like this. Add some metallic value to 0.2 and roughness to 0.2. Rename it as paint and add a new fill layer. Disable color, metal, normal and height and add a black mask then again add a fill go to your grunges and search for paint and select this grunge paint scratched and drop it in your fill now add another fill layer and this time disable everything except height and add 0.5 0 0.05 height value then add a black mask and again add a fill this time go to the procedurals and you'll see this 3d Perlin noise and drop it in your fill now select all these three layers and add them in a group now go to your smart mask and search for paint now you'll see this paint settle and drop it on your paint. Open this mask editor and decrease the balance to 0.3 and increase the global contrast to 0.7. Also select this uh, grunge scratch and increase the balance. Now select this grunge scratch on the top and again increase the balance just a little bit to 0.45 or maybe 0.47 you can do one more thing and open this mask then add a level Now let's go to materials and uh, select this rust fine and drop it in your layers. Add a black mask and then generator. Add this drip and we'll add this rust. You can increase the spreading and contrast a little bit. Intensity to 0.6. And then you can add a paint here and press X to disable the paint mode and remove some of this rust.
make it a little bit more darker so our hammer head is textured let's go to textures at least and and select this handle then go to layers and delete this empty layer now select this wood rough and drop it in the layers and rotate it to 90 change the scale to 4 and change its color to something like this now add a new layer and disable metal and normal and height increase the roughness and change the color like this go to this section here and go to height then change the height to normal also the normal again to normal now add a black mask and then a generator and select this dirt decrease the opacity a little bit and increase the contrast to 0.7 and dirt level to 0 0.75 and opacity of this layer to 65 now add one more fill layer and this time disable metal and normal increase the roughness and height to minus 0 0.1 add a black mask and go back to this layer now change the base color to something more lighter like this now in this black mask add a fill and search for scratches increase the scale to 2 and balance to 0 0.65 you can also decrease some height to make it more deep let's keep it minus 0 0.15 now add a level and again make it a little bit sharp again add a new fill layer and disable metal normal and add a black mask now select this one and change its color To this now go to your smart mask and uh, search for damage and you'll see this edge damage drop it in your layer like this now select this paint layer and decrease the height to minus 0 0.1 also make it a little bit darker like this and increase the roughness and again open this and add a level
so our hammer texturing is completed and that's it for today i hope you liked this video and if you did then subscribe to the channel we are close to hitting 4000 subscriber on this channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching